Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new, currently unreleased Ocelot Locust. Um, like I said, currently unreleased. It is part of the drip feed content from the Casino and Resort DLC. And first glimpse on this bad boy, it does look very similar to the car that we've already got in the game, the Coil Voltic, which is an electric car based off a Lotus Elise, I believe. And this is very similar to that. Obviously, this isn't based purely on a Lotus Elise, um, but it looks really, really close to it. Uh, mainly the, the rear of it. The front, not so much. And obviously, a lack of windscreen or windshield um, is, of, is evident there as well. But, like I said, it looks very similar to a Voltic. And I've, I've always liked the look of a Voltic in GTA. Uh, it was just the fact that it was an electric car, well it is an electric car that always put me off it. Um, but now nah, man, this this um, this car looks fucking pretty good. So without any further ado, let's get into the build. We're gonna start with armor as always, with 100% body armor, then we've got, got the race brakes, then we've got the level four engine upgrade, exhausts, plenty of options for the exhausts, and they're all pretty cool looking. I think the stock ones actually look the nicest. Damn, that's that's disappointing. All these options and the stock exhausts, in my opinion, look the best. Oh dear, here we go again. Right, for the sake of the video, I am going to change it. Even though I prefer the stock exhaust, I'm going to go with a titanium large box exhaust. Then we've got the front bumper. Loads of options for the bumpers, which is good. Hopefully it's not just splitters. So we've got the street bumper, and they actually change. That is, oh, that is amazing. I'm so happy <laughs> we've actually got bumpers as a customization option that actually change. Um, because the previous vehicles from this content, um, well, this DLC content, shall I say, that I've already customized and done reviews on, the customizations weren't great. Um, the the only vehicle that I've actually customized and reviewed and put a video up on my channel so far with you know quite a lot of customization is the Nubla, the Nubla Turbo um, but all the others have been pretty standard pretty weak um, with the customization options so it's nice to see that this vehicle actually has real customization options and you know, they're not the best looking things in the world, but at least we've got different options which actually change the look of the car. So it brings in a bit more individuality into each each person's build. And um, I'm actually really liking that race carbon bumper. That looks pretty fucking sweet. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> I like that, man. It's cool. Uh, no rear bumper option, though, unfortunately. But nevertheless, we're going to move on. And we've got the hood. That's a weird looking hood, man. Then we've got the twin scoop, the power bulge, the vented hood, and the vented hood again, but uh, it's like different types of vents. Um, I think I actually like that better. Yeah, that's probably my favourite of the lot, so I'm going to go with that bad boy. I'm going to skip the horn lights, we're going to get the Xeon headlights, then we've got liveries, and we've got the black stripe. The white stripe, a yellow stripe, <laughs> and uh, then we're going to all these race liveries. To be fair, I f even though race liveries aren't really my thing, I think this car actually suits them somewhat. Wow, that actually looks pretty sweet. That actually looks really cool. So some really nice looking liveries. Um, I don't think I'm going to add one to this car because I think it looks better without. Uh, yeah, even them stripes look a little bit weird as they go over the vents. So I'm going to say none for the liveries. Skip the play, respray, primary color. We're going to go metallic. Metallic what? Metallic black? Mm. Not sure about metallic black. It's got to be, I don't know, maybe a purple. Purple might be cool. The bright purple. Actually looks quite nice. Oh, yeah, man. I'm gonna go shaft the purple, metallic shaft the purple. That is for the primary and also for the secondary. 
The next option we've got is a roll cage, oddly enough, considering this hasn't got a roof or windshield. So it is a little bit weird. But it's cool. I'm, you know, I'm, I'll go over it. It kind of then... The roll cage, obviously, is going to go on the outside, and it kind of gives the impression that there should be a roof attached to it now, and maybe a windshield. <laughs> wow. Yellow seats with um, red harnesses. That's That's different. <laughs> that is different. Not really sure about that. So there's loads of options. I mean, if you've got secondary colours and all that sort of stuff, that it will be. It would look like there's a lot more options um, because because my secondary and my primary colours are the same. It looks like I'm just getting the same options over and over and over. Uh, I'm not sure about the padded ones. I think. Yeah, I think just the first option, the cage with the black seats, is. Uh, probably the best option for me at least, so I'm going to go with that. Then we've got side skirts, we've got primary, uh, the secondary, carbon, uh, the primary, secondary, and carbon. I felt I'm going to go with that. Then it matches the front um, bumper that I've got, which uh, looks pretty sweet. Spoilers. Ooh, the carbon spoiler. So the same as the stock, but in a carbon variant of it. It looks awesome. We've got the GTs with the spoiler. So we're going to get primary and then carbon versions of these spoilers by the looks of it. But there's still plenty of options, plenty of different designs. And I think this one's probably my favourite. The carbon GT spoiler, so I'm going to go with that. Suspension, we're going to get a competition suspension. We're going to get race transmission and obviously turbo tuning. The wheels aren't anything spectacular, even though they do look pretty cool. Um... I think I might change them up, go into the sport and see what options we've got. I don't know. Actually, I might go with some carbon wheels because then it goes with the rest of the rest of the options I've, I've put on here. Um, obviously, with the, the carbon front bumper, carbon spoiler, carbon side skirt. So if we go high end and straight down to the bottom, we've got the carbon S racer. They look pretty smart. Oh, I like them. The Cheetah Carbon R. I think they suit the car really nicely. Good go with them bad boys. I believe if we change the colour on these ones, we get a little um, trim around the outside. And we do. Yeah, I was correct. Um, shaft of purple. There we go. Match it up. Why the fuck not? And then, that's it. No windows to tint. Nothing. <laughs> so that is the build. Man, I actually really, really dig the look of this car. The Ocelot Locus. Um... Obviously not the best looking car in the game, but it's definitely different, 100% different, and I think it looks really cool. Yeah man, I'm actually really, really digging the looks of this. Customizations on it obviously are pretty good, better than most of the cars that I've customised so far from this DLC. Uh, so that's a, definitely a welcome um, addition with all the different um, customization options. It is in the sports category this car. Um, so another sports car uh, to the list, the long list of GTA sports cars. It actually feels really fast as well. The handling feels pretty good. Like it sticks into the ground. Um, doesn't really want to spin out. It's, you know, it's really grippy. And it feels like this will actually be one of the top sports cars in races. And even going over bumps, it holds in really, really nice. Because I know some of them, some of the new cars in this DLC have got that advanced handling file where they feel a little bit bumpy going over even the smallest little hump in the road that will jump up in the air and you know and uh, you'll lose c control. But this doesn't seem to have that, which is obviously a plus. Uh, and the, the handling actually feels really, really solid. It actually feels really quick. Whoa! What the fuck was he doing? <laughs> yeah, it feels really quick. Uh, Handling feels oh the steering feels really responsive. What is wrong with these people? What is wrong with him? That was his own fault. Oh dear. Uh, but as I was saying, this car feels really fast. It actually feels solid in the corners. It just feels really, really good. Like I said, it's gonna definitely be one of the top sports cars in the game when it is released. It's just not my 
cup of tea, really. I think you can find better in GTA for cheaper. Um, but, you know, that's just my opinion. You guys will probably feel different about it. Some people will, some people won't. Some people will agree, some people will disagree. It's just human nature. That's just the way we are, baby. Um, but on that note, I am going to end the video there. Hope you guys did enjoy this video on the Oshalot Locust. If you did, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA videos like this. And until next time, I'm out. Adios. Thank you.